Matthew Perry. The causes of the actor's death finally revealed. Matthew Perry died on Saturday, October 28, at his home in Los Angeles at the age of just 54. A spokesperson for the Los Angeles Fire Department told People magazine that they responded to a call that reported a medical emergency at 4.7 p.m., knowing that he had a lot of support from his family, as well as from the other stars of the series' friends since the beginning of their friendship. Matthew Perry had managed to get rid of his addictions as best he could. It's like penguins. In the wild, when a penguin is sick or badly injured, the others surround it, support it, and walk it until it can walk on its own. That's kind of what the cast did for me, the actor said of his co-stars. However, this did not succeed in saving him, as the damage seemed to have already been done. The actor was found dead in his hot tub last October. Prescription drugs and pills in bulk were found at his home, but none were reported near or near the pool, ruling out suicide or overdose. The results of the first analyses unveiled a few weeks after the funeral of the man who played Chandler Bing in Friends showed that the actor was still sober at the time of his death. Further analysis now reveals the precise cause of his death, according to an autopsy report obtained by People magazine. He said at the outset that there were no signs of fatal trauma and no foul play or suspect. The Friends actor died following a succession of unfortunate factors. According to them, the most impactful of these is undoubtedly the acute effects of ketamine and buprenorphine, a drug used to treat opioid use disorder, exacerbated by coronary artery disease. All of this would have caused an accidental drowning. According to the US Drug Enforcement Administration, ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic with hallucinogenic effects. More specific, Matthew Perry had been sober for 19 months, as the report attests. He was regularly on ketamine infusions, with his last treatment taking place a week and a half before his death. However, the forensic pathologist who performed the autopsy of the actor is categorical. The ketamine present in his body at the time of death could not have come from this infusion treatment, since the half-life of ketamine is three to four hours, or... Also, the death was caused by an unknown route of absorption. The elevated levels of ketamine found in post-mortem blood samples indicate that the main lethal effects are believed to be due to cardiovascular overstimulation and respiratory depression. The medical examiner said in his report, having lost consciousness due to these factors, the actor then allegedly drowned since he was in his hot tub at the time of the incident.